I don't know why I put that one back on. But uh, you can see they got all snotty last night when Dad was going when that rain came in. So we chipped them all clean. We're going to blow air through them. And then we'll put the caps back on and we'll blow air through all the shanks. Make sure everything's good there. But, oh, we'll be going here within an hour. If we were on the west side of town, we'd be going right now. I'm very surprised we didn't get much rain on the west side of town at all. Oh, Dad had, there's a, I guess this guy needs one as well. One of these keeper elastics was gone, so. So, last load of spring, burn off. And it kind of looks like we're gonna be rolling right into in crop. So, I gotta make sure that I got all of my chemical out of the system. So once I've pumped everything, I'm gonna rinse everything a couple times. That's kind of going slow. I need only half a tank as well, so it's uh, 625 is my target on that one. And I still have a couple chemical to pump. If, if I end up over, that's also okay, because I can adjust my rate up a bit. So I'm gonna make sure I just flush the living crap out of everything. And then when we're done done, I'm going to take out that strainer. Well, that's it. That's a little higher than it should be. I didn't do that much overlapping and all that and rinsing. It probably should be around 5,200. So I'm not sure. There Maybe there was 130 on when I started. But... We are done. Sprayer's rinsed out. That can be shut off. We will go home on you and we will send that to the cloud. So, should be right around 5,200 acres. Hey folks. As you probably just noticed, I got done spraying. It was the night before. So that's every acre that we have to spray is sprayed. We would start spraying in crop the very next day. But I actually had some time on my hands where I wasn't running around like a headless chicken. And conditions were just absolutely gorgeous for flying the drone. So I figured I would do so. As usual, dad's out there in the Delta track. This field we have is right beside town. Not very often we get to do this thing wall to wall, but we did this year. All that real dark looking soil was unseeded last year because it was just flat out too wet. Something to look for in the video is, you can see dad's got the GPS just tuned ever so perfectly where he's seeding right between the rows from last year, which is exactly where you wanna be. And coming up soon, you'll see some drone piloting error where I almost run into the very back of the cedar cart. Other than that, just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoy this stuff, please let me know. Throw me a like. Please subscribe.